Okay, so this is a build video. Hey, yeah, so this is actually going to be the Wrecker Hammer that's been included with all the Wreck and Rule collections. Hey, you can see all the pieces there. You can see it's not a, a huge thing. In each of the pieces, all the instructions are included with all the separate in, uh, instruction booklets. So I'm going to be kind of flipping through those occasionally as I, you know, try to find the spot that I'm going to do. Yeah, so uh, like this one, this is the first one right here. And, well, this is just pretty simple, just, uh, well... Get my fingers in there. And just uh, unflatten it. That's pretty straightforward. And we're going mostly in the uh, order is in. That one, yep. That's pretty. It's pretty straightforward for most of the stuff. I mean, it's just unflatten the piece, right? This is the one that came with the uh, final set. And uh, get that all bent and then, of course. Uh, and thankfully, I'm guessing no glue required. I mean, I'm missing this, this one. I'm just assembling a box, essentially. I use some you know, tape or dots of glue or something. But yeah, that's uh, I'm not sure which side is supposed to be the front. I genuinely don't know which side is supposed to be the front here. Hmm, I see. Okay. So this is A. I think this is actually supposed to be the front with the Cybertronian on it. This is, uh, yeah, piece A, which I guess we'll just slot in. Not sure if I'm supposed to. Okay, it's tabbed in that very specific way so that it uh, won't come undone once you've uh, got it all slotted in very easily. Yeah. Okay, that's that's assembled. Yep. Okay, so this is the head of the hammer. I guess. Ah, I gotta get these all folded in too. Okay. Then I'll fold it in and then uh, I'm gonna do these parts next. Okay, so it's the bottom. So uh, you need to be able to check those because yeah, it's sure if there's a specific way they want to do this. Is there is a patterns match at all? Can't tell if there's any matching patterns here. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, it's obvious I'm supposed to fold this stuff. That's obvious, but like from there, then what? Okay, so these parts do. Is this just. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Really just a case of just get it all folded up right. <laughs> Yep, just 
fold it right, I guess. Somewhat right. And same thing on this side, just yeah, start folding those all around. And then fold these flaps as well. So stick that in and then oop, thanks I pull it apart. This one's fighting me more, weirdly enough. Don't know why this one's fighting me so much. just all pop it on here and uh, there you go um, you can see it's wobbling a bit I mean it is just cardboard but that's not too bad I mean Paper craft, cardboard craft, I don't know what you want to call it, but yeah, it's uh, not too bad, I guess. It doesn't look too bad, honestly. Ooh, what's this? Oh, that's XX cardboard, okay. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad, I guess. It's fine, it's just wobbly. Um, Yeah, I would definitely would not recommend putting any figures on the actual cardboard itself. It's gonna, it will not hold that weight. Yeah. You know, it's a quick build, not a, not bad, nothing amazing though, but not bad. It's a quick little build, won't take much to do. Yeah, it really won't take much, so uh, yeah, you just have to add that, that in a few minutes, right? Even that was just because I was kept second guessing myself, so uh, yeah. Not too bad at all, in my opinion. Just trying to get these old guys real uh, set up. Yeah, you know, it wouldn't make, it would not make for a bad display piece for, you know, these guys. Um, at the most amazing, I wish these kind of did something a little bit better as it is. That, you know, I think might have to use a, to have some dots of glue to, you know, keep that from doing too bad. But overall, not too bad. It holds together pretty well. It looks not too bad. This uh, Autobot Wrecker symbol is not too bad. You know, it's, it's got nice print. It's a decent quality cardboard to get for cardboard, you know. Yeah, not too bad. Nothing amazing. I don't think. I think a lot of people are just dis disappointed just because it's cardboard, but it's a solid little display piece. And I guess you can take it off the stand and wax some uh, people with it again. It's just cardboard; it won't survive that much. So yeah, it's fine. It's cool. I'm not sure if it's worth it. You know, if you want just the hammer, it's really probably not worth getting all these guys. If you really want just the hammer, there's definitely some issues that I pointed out with uh, in the reviews. But and it's a nice little bonus. So uh, yeah, that's it for the build. Hope you enjoyed it. I don't think you, I don't think you really need that much help to, uh, you know, 
put it together, but I don't know. I guess this was neat, it, you know. So, uh, yeah. Hope you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, check out my Twitter. I'm at Nemesis Prime One. Check out my uh, coffee, my Patreon, and I see you next time with uh, another video review.